Electrochemical cells, we're going to talk about galvanic cells, also called voltaic cells. And what these are, it's a system of chemicals where uh, electricity is generated spontaneously by the reaction. So here's an example. In this reaction, zinc is going to be oxidized to zinc 2, or zinc 0 goes to zinc 2. Copper 2 is going to be reduced to copper. All right. And the way this is set up, you're going to have two half cells. We'll go through the words here in a second. So this is one half cell. This is where the oxidation occurs. So this will be the uh, oxidized, oxidation half cell. This will be the reduction half cell. So oxidation occurs here, reduction occurs here. And what you need is, for these kind of voltaic cells, is a metal. Here we have zinc metal, right, in zinc ion. Okay, it has zinc sulfate in there, right? But we know that if zinc sulfate is soluble, and it is, it'll dissociate to give you zinc ions and sulfate ions. Right? So we have zinc ions. We have sulfate ions in there. We'll think about them in one second. Um, all right, on the other side, we have copper ions as copper sulfate. Same thing. It'll uh, soluble, it'll dissociate to give crop, copper two ions. And we have a copper uh, electrode. So the zinc is the anode, the copper is the cathode. And what happens is if oxidation occurs here at the anode, I'll go back, then the reaction that's occurring is this one. So zinc is being oxidized to zinc plus two, releasing two electrons. Those electrons go through the wire that connects the system, right? And the way I'll show this could light up a light bulb or could give a reading on a voltmeter. Those electrons come down to the copper cathode where those electrons come in here and they're able to grab a copper two ion from solution and reduce it to solid copper. All right, so two electrons plus a copper two ion gives me solid copper. That's what's occurring at the cathode. Um, so the net reaction is this. Um, a couple things we have to think about. So half the other thing or the last thing to talk about is the salt bridge. What happens here is as you start to oxidize zinc, you're generating a positive charge, right, in solution. And so you can't continue to do that. You have to neutralize that somehow. And what happens is we have a salt bridge, and in here we have KCl. If that's soluble, it gives you K plus plus Cl minus. If a positive charge is developing here, you can see chloride ions will come this way, right, to neutralize that and can, uh, complete the circuit. On the other hand, here, we're developing a negative charge. So potassium ions come from the salt bridge this way. So electrons aren't moving through the salt bridge, right? Electrons move through the circuit here, and then ions move across the salt bridge. All right, so that's an introduction to those things. Let's see. So construction of voltaic or galvanic cells. Ow, my back. Um... So electrochemical cells are systems where chemical reactions use or generate an electric current. Electrochemical cells. Um, spontaneous reaction. So this is a voltaic or galvanic cell. Voltaic or galvanic cells are electrochemical cells in which spontaneous reactions occur, generating an electrical current, all right, lighting up the light bulb. Um, the opposite is an electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cells are electrochemical cells in which an electric current drives an otherwise non-spontaneous reaction. So in a voltaic cell, the chemistry generates electricity. In an electrolytic cell, the electricity generates a chemical reaction. The half cell, a uh, half cell, is a portion of an electrochemical cell in which a half reaction takes place. The salt bridge is the tube of an electrolyte gel. Remember, electrolytes are ions. Salt bridge, I guess the salt bridge, is a tube of electrolyte gel that connects the two half cells. A transfer of ions, but not mixing of the two solutions. And oxidation occurs at the anode in a galvanic cell. And the cathode is where reduction, the reduction half reaction occurs. And so you can say, right, a red cat, an ox and a red cat. So reduction occurs at the cathode, oxidation occurs at the anode. 
All right, as you got those down, you should draw in that box, draw this electrochemical cell with all the important parts, right? Draw the two half cells, the two electrodes, show the salt bridge with the ions the direction they're moving, show the electrons the direction they're moving, write the half reactions at the anode and the cathode, and the overall reaction. All right. These things are summarized like this, this notation. Um, what you'll see. So here we have zinc being oxidized to copper two, copper being uh, copper two being reduced to copper, and here's the concentrations. This represents this cell. So it's saying at the anode you have zinc solid being oxidized to zinc two. And there's the concentration of the zinc two ion. This represents the salt bridge, right, separating the two half reactions, and then copper two in its concentration. Here's copper, right, as it's reduced at the cathode. So you'll see this as a way uh, to write out these reactions. All right, next we're going to look at cell potentials. So we've already seen that there's a half or a, a reduction cell potential, right? How much a ion wants to be reduced. Turns out there's also uh, an oxidation potential. How much, well, we know this too. Oxidation potential about how much it wants to be oxidized. If we combine the two, then we can calculate the potential for the cell. But we'll do that next.